You made a comment about high iron decreasing testosterone. You can't get away with that, with everybody here wanting to take TRT, et cetera. Can you yeah. give some clarity to that? So not only does high iron decrease testosterone by binding to the testes, iron will go to the testes and the gonads. So it also will cause infertility in women and men by damaging the ovaries and testes. So then you don't make as much testosterone, but high iron will also cause low testosterone and hormone problems in men and women because it damages the pituitary gland and the brain, which are ultimately what control your hormone levels. Why this is important, not only because, you know, low testosterone is bad for your health and longevity, because a lot of men and women are diagnosed with low testosterone. The problem, the reason they're low in testosterone is because they have too much iron. Often they'll be given testosterone without having their iron levels checked. And then what happens is when you take testosterone, that'll increase your iron absorption and it'll also help you to make more red blood cells and hemoglobin and hematocrit. And so if you don't diagnose the root cause of the low testosterone, then the treatment for what you diagnosed of low, as low testosterone will make the root cause worse. It makes a lot of sense because most of the people go to the doctor and they test just total and free testosterone, do different ratios. They're not looking at blood sugar. They're not looking at uh, doing a detoxification. They're not looking at gut health. They're not looking at iron. Once again, the body's all interconnected. It's a great point.